everyone has an opinion about Canadian federal politics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey gang, what's up? Just Aaron right here, Canadian Looney. It was wacko Wednesday again in the House of Commons. Take a look at this. It's out of control. Take a look at this. Greg Fergus is an issue. Trudeau is an issue. Poliev seems to have some common sense, but let's look into this deeper. What a wild time. I'm going to show about 10 seconds of the silence and then maybe I'm going to show the intro to my live show, try to get people going, but it was dead silence, guys. Like, Greg Fergus is, does not have control of the floor of the House of Commons. The Prime Minister seems to be out of control. Let's take a look. It's pretty fun. Wild day in um, the House of Commons. Let's take a look. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Well, I will talk, comment on one uh, spectacular uh, a social housing project of his, and that is the brand new lavish apartment that he bought his friend, the new Consul General, to New York. Nine million dollars for our, his friend Tom Clark to have stunning powder room finished in jewel onyx, crystal gold quart quartzite countertops, a handcrafted copper soaking tub custom bronze bathroom fixtures, $5,000 coffee machine. Did the Prime Minister go and inspect this palace in the sky on his recent trip to New York? Yeah. Yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, engaging with international leaders on fighting climate change, on solving global crises, on standing up unequivocally for Ukraine, Colleagues, colleagues, just as I said before, as just as I said earlier, I would ask all members to please not take the floor unless they're recognized by the speaker so that we can hear the questions and we can hear the answers. The Right Honourable Prime Minister from the top, please. Mr. Speaker, don't worry, on this side of the House, we're used to casual homophobic comments from the other side of the House. Uh, Mr. Speaker, what is it about, about the... Uh, Don't just think about it. Do it, do it, do it. Do it with a partner, it's really smarter. Do it in the water, it's where you are to. Do it on the weekend, it's not fatiguing. Do it while you're grooving, it'll keep you moving. But don't just think about it. Do it, do it, do it. I do it with a friend, how you both can bend. I do it for your muscles, it'll make them hustle. Do it for your feet. Don't just think about it. Colleagues, I heard comments. Uh, that I, because it was not on microphone, I chose not to get up. I would ask, nonetheless, that the, uh, we all treat each other with the presumption of honour and respect. And I'll ask the Prime Minister to please withdraw that comment and to start, uh, to start his comment again. Under Colleagues, 
I heard a comment, as I said, which I could not, I do not, could not stand up because I did not know who said it. But we should be, but colleagues, I don't appreciate when we would tar the entire uh, 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 members with that concern. And I'm going to ask the honourable member, please, to withdraw that comment, start his question again, and let us presume the better natures of all members of parliament here. The right honourable prime minister from the top. Mr. Speaker, standing up to bullies requires us to call them out on their crap sometimes, and that's what I will do. Prime Minister once again uh, to rise on his feet. And thank you. Mr. Speaker, I will happily withdraw my comment if the member who suggested that I was sharing a bathtub with Tom Clark stands up, takes responsibility for his. As I had indicated to all colleagues here, I was not able to hear or track the source of that statement. And I'm just asking the Prime Minister to be the, the better person and to please just withdraw the comment and start his question again. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I withdraw uh, the comment about um, uh, defecating. Um, uh, I certainly, uh, using the word crap, I, refer, I shouldn't use that, I know crap is unparliamentary, but I will also, Mr. Speaker, when someone says something that is clearly homophobic, not them, I'm not accusing them of homophobia, I'm saying they made a homophobic. <laughs> I appreciate the Prime Minister withdrawing his comment, and the Chair accepts him withdrawing that comment. But as the Speaker had indicated, sometimes, sometimes in this chair, and for those who have occupied this chair or who will occupy this chair will understand, it is a very difficult decision day to day. I heard a comment, I did not know who said it, and the Speaker chose for the reputation of this House for us to move on from that comment. I ask, the, I ask the Prime Minister to withdraw the comment. I appreciate you withdrawing the comment. The Prime Minister, please respond to the question that was asked by the 
Mr. Speaker, I know the very idea of standing up for Canada's rights and values on the world stage makes the Leader of the Opposition's skin crawl. What is it exactly? Is it standing up to fight climate change? Is it standing up uh, for women's rights? Is it standing up for democracy rights and freedom of the press? Whatever it is, he sure doesn't like it when Canada stands proudly on the world stage because he wants everyone to think that Canada is broken. Well, Canada is not broken. Canada is the best country in the world. Everyone has an opinion about Canadian federal politics. Oh, yeah. Hey, right, gang, what do you think of that video? Please leave a comment. I love the comments. My name's Aaron. This is Canadian Looney. We watch the question periods daily, live. We do a broadcast on that. Please come and check out the channel. I think that you would enjoy the chat room very much if you are interested in Canadian federal politics, learning with other people that are learning, that do have opinions. A lot of these people in the chat room know a lot already. Come join us, come check it out. That's it. These other videos are very wild. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, share, get notified for the live shows, all that fun stuff. Aaron, Canadian Looney, we'll catch you next video. Thank you very much for watching this one. Catch you next time.